Hey, it's Arrow, and this is Pod Crashing, episode 58, my conversation with Melissa Rivers. Planted firmly inside the four walls of historic media podcast networks, Melissa Rivers' group text wastes no time unveiling its vast array of discussions fed by the energy of current events, pop culture, fashion, lifestyle, relationships, fitness, parenting, entertainment, mental health, and more. The podcast was totally inspired by the daily group chats that Melissa was having with all of her friends. Now, both Melissa and Storic agree that Melissa Rivers' group text podcast speaks the street when it comes to connecting with fans and followers. And Melissa, she's not afraid to reach out there for that punchline or dive into mental health, ageism, COVID-19, and other complex topics, calling it the perfect medium for the 21st century. We are unplugged and totally uncut with Melissa Rivers. Good morning. How are you doing today? I'm awake. (laughs) (laughs) Well, welcome to the world of podcasting. My group text podcast. Congratulations on stepping through. Oh, it's, I love it. I have so much fun doing this podcast because we get to talk about what ever the hell I'm interested in. (laughs) That's so true. I mean, because, you know, five years ago, the only thing that was happening, you had Mark Maron and Joe Rogan, but now we're all taking that opportunity to really kind of just open it up and really share content as well as great conversation. If I had known I was going to, I could be like Joe Rogan and get, what was it, like $100 million? I would have started this years ago. Well, you didn't waste any time on getting to conspiracy theories. Mike West is your guest. Come on, girl. Oh my God! It's but that's the thing about my 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 podcast is we literally I literally talk about and 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 do episodes on whatever I'm interested in. We've done everything from mental health and you know one that we just put out called "Don't Just Look Good, Feel Good" because we are all crawling out of quarantine looking like we actually look rather than how we <laughs> present ourselves, which is not good. <laughs> you know, my friends and I look in the mirror and be like, oh, my God, this is what we really look like. Like, I don't want to come out till I can be completely back to who I like to be. Do conspiracy theories, which fascinate me. Well, yeah, but, I mean, when, when you've got a conspiracy theory always going on, all of a sudden that draws those listeners in and, and they start paying attention. But one of the things that I love about the way that you're laying out your, your podcast is the distance of it. In other words, you're not going two hours. What you're doing is you're giving us just enough information so we can hit the next one. Yes. And I, you know, there's ones obviously that I am going to go back to because I want to know more. And I figure if I'm interested my listeners will be interested. You know, if I if I find what we're talking about compelling, everyone else will too. Like, I love conspiracy. We, we also did, which right in the beginning, we did the Varsity Blues scandal, which I felt passionately about because I have a son who's a student athlete. When When you reach out there and you talk about everyday things, how many people are reaching back to you through social media and saying, "Look, you just spoke the street that I live on you You are doing everything that we needed to hear um I've been so pleasantly surprised by that that you know there's a lot of people out there like me, and I don't think people expect me to be like them or that i I speak what they're talking to because they have a misconception of who I am and what my life is like. You know, I'm I'm raising a teenager. I'm, you know, can't lose weight. I, you know, it's you know everything that most people are really going through. Let's go back to the podcast. Look good, feel good. Do you think that the COVID beard is going to be the new thing for guys, or do you think we need to get this thing off right now? I'm concerned about the women that have grown the COVID beard. <laughs> I think that's a much bigger concern right now. <laughs> that's so true. <laughs> now, the the editing process and stuff that you do, because, I mean, you are spot on. Do, are you leaving a bunch of stuff on the floor? I mean, do you have people uh, cleaning it up for you, or is it like we're just going to be unplugged and totally uncut? Um, we're pretty much unplugged. We'll take out some stuff if it either goes completely off the rails of the topic Or if there's a lot of, you know, we'll clean up some crosstalk. We'll clean up, um, you know, a lot of the the stuttering or whatever it is. But it pretty much is what it is. Well, I loved what you did with sleep and dream. That's a subject that everybody's tapping into right now because people are finally coming forward saying, look, I'm having nightmares. I'm not sleeping at night. Whereas in the past, nobody would want to talk about this. It was embarrassing. I wear now a sleep tracker at night. 
And all I can tell you is I fail, I have somehow failed sleeping, just like I failed meditation. Now, how did you fail meditation? That that seems to be, I mean, because, I mean, is, is it just the voices in your head? How can I fail sleeping? <laughs> 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 Apparently, I, I, I keep getting, like, grades or numbers on my sleep tracker going, wow, you did not do well last <laughs> night. <laughs> you know, so like meditation will be the next thing, but I'm failing sleep. So what was it like to be able to sit down with, with Sam Rubin? Because he really seems to be a very down-to-earth guy that's got a far-reaching message. Sam Rubin is one of my favorite human beings in the entire world. I love Sam Rubin. I've known him forever. Um, and he's so smart and so good at what he does. You know, Howard Bragman is my publicist, so I kind of know where he's going, and he's <laughs> always really interesting. And uh, Dave Rubin was my first encounter with him, and, um, yeah, he, he definitely keeps the conversation lively. I don't agree with a lot of what he says, but I think that's what makes it interesting. That's what makes podcasting That's what makes podcasting fun in the way that you get to be your human self, and that's what people tap into. Right, and I always figure if it's something that I'm interested in talking about, other people are too. Well, what is that one subject you won't tap into? I mean, even as a podcaster, there are certain things that's like, I, I'm not going there. I, I just know that my listening audience won't do it. Well, there's a difference between what I won't do and what my listening audience doesn't want to hear. What, what's that barrier? Is it, is it something that you have to hear in your own heart, or do you take a chance and then you, then you put it in the can, as we call it in radio, until, until you feel like it's time to release it? Um, good question. You know, there's just certain topics where we're deciding which ones we want to do. It'll be, it's more if it's like, eh, I'm not that interested. <laughs> you know, I, I don't talk a lot about, you know, I bring in a lot of my experiences, but I, I really try and stick to stuff that I'm interested in. And I do want opposing points of view. Well, you, you've def- definitely mastered the, the art of having a conversation on podcasting. And I, I congratulate you for joining the team, man. It's so, by the way. It is so much fun. I can't even believe that I this was not part of my wheelhouse for so long. Yep. Like, I have the best time. But also, because I'm steering the ship, I get to talk about things that I want to talk about. Right. <laughs> like, you know. Stuff that interests me. I don't know if it interests anyone else, but it's interesting to me. But that's that's what makes them fun, and that's why we keep tapping back in. you got to come back to the show any time in the future. The door is always going to be open for you, Melissa. Well, thank you. At least it's not hitting me on the ass on the way out. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> You'd be brilliant today, okay? You too.